Hi boys and girls, it's Marcy Chavalos here, and it's now time for story time. Today's story is Susan Laughs by Jeanne Willis, illustrated by Tony Ross. Let's take a look at the cover and see if we can get some ideas about what the story will be about. Hmm, the title is called Susan Laughs. Who do you think Susan is? The little girl or the kitty cat? Hmm, I agree. I think it's the little girl. So it's probably a story about Susan. And since it mentions her laughing, how do you think she might feel during the story? Yeah, she probably might feel happy. Usually when you're laughing, you feel happy. So let's read a little bit more about Susan and Susan laughs. Let's grow! Susan laughs. Susan laughs. Susan sings. Susan flies. Susan swings. Susan's good. Susan's bad. Susan's happy. Susan's sad. Looks like Susan has all different types of feelings. Do you sometimes feel good, bad, happy, and sad? Susan dances. Susan rides. Oh, that looks like fun. Susan swims. Susan hides. Raise your hand if you like to swim. Does anyone like to play hide and seek? Hide and seek was one of my favorite games as a little girl. Susan's shy. Susan's loud. Susan's angry. Susan's proud. Susan splashes. Susan spins. Susan waves. Susan grins. <laughs> Look at the silly face that Susan's making when she grins. Susan's right. Susan's wrong. Susan's weak. Susan's strong. I like how Susan's friend helped comfort her when she didn't do well on the problem. We all can learn from even the mistakes that we make. Susan trots. Susan rows. Susan paints. Susan throws. Looks like she's having fun with some paper airplanes. Susan feels. Susan fears. Susan hugs. Susan hears. Do you sometimes get scared at night time like Susan? Do you need someone to comfort you? Who is it that helps you feel safe? That is Susan through and through. Just like me just like you. Susan has a lot in common with us. She feels all different sorts of feelings and participates in so many different activities, some of the things that we might like to participate in too. But if you notice, there's something that makes Susan unique, a little bit different. Can you guess what it is? You're right. Susan rides in a wheelchair. Susan uses the wheelchair to travel. You might use your feet or crutches or if you're a little baby, your knees to get around. But Susan uses the wheelchair to get around. And if you see someone who is the same or maybe different, think about the different ways that you might be the same as them. Maybe you like the same things or like some similar activities. Or you can notice the things that make them different make them unique and special. I bet there's things about you that are unique and special too, just like Susan. I hope you enjoyed reading this story and want you to have a wonderful day. Goodbye now.